your third unit is shock waves shock waves means what is a sudden steep rise of the pressure wave steep finite pressure wave in the compressible fluid flow is called shock waves here the shock wave is classified basically into two types normal shock waves and oblique shock waves i gave uh, this drawing uh, in my background this is the shock wave here we have one wavy line this is a shock wave and we have this pressure before the shock wave we will call it as mx speed of the fluid before shock wave is cx and the mach number before the shock wave is mx similarly after the shock wave we are calling it as my and uh, cy there is a formula uh, for finding my it is my square is equal to 2 by gamma minus 1 plus mx square by 2 gamma by gamma minus 1 mx square minus 1 next is uh, this equation is called Prandtl-Meyer equation mx star into my star is equal to 1 mx star mx star into my square mx star into my star is equal to 1 this is a formula for finding mx and m py by px equal to 2 gamma by gamma plus 1 mx square minus gamma minus 1 plus gamma plus 1 next is one important equation called rankine hugoniot equation density across the shock density across the shock it is rho y by rho x i gave this picture next is supersonic wind tunnel supersonic wind tunnel it is the diffusion of supersonic flow after the test section takes place through the shock waves this is called supersonic wind tunnel and in this uh, we are giving ty by tx and the ratio of py by px this is uh, called as pressure ratio across the shock and uh, rho y by rho x is called density ratio across the shock it is also called as rankine hugoniot equation next is eta d eta d is called as diffuser efficiency eta d is equal to t naught 1 by t1 into p naught y by p naught x to the power of gamma minus 1 by gamma minus 1 by gamma minus 1 by 2 m1 square and these are the steps to solve problem before shock and after shock mx properties before shock you have to find all the properties of uh, mx it means tx px cx rho x whatever you need use your flow is isentropic tables use your isentropic tables find all these data then use your normal shock table then find my find the respective my then you need to find py by px, ty by tx, rho y by rho x then from your uh, first step we are having the data of py, cx from your uh, first step we are having px, cx, rho x no? now substitute this value you can get py, ty, rho y these are the steps here you can find the aftershock data that is my, py, uh, cy, ty all these data this is the steps to solve problem in shock waves next is rho y by rho x equal to rho y by rho x equal to py by px to the power of 1 by gamma this is a formula if they gave del s if they are asking del s then you have to use this formula del s equal to r into ln of p naught x by p naught y 